I'm Maya Pomeroy. Welcome to The Heartbeat. Every year, talented students from schools and universities across the United States apply to THI student internship programs. These students get to spend their time shadowing THI doctors and working collaboratively with clinical researchers across the many programs at THI. Others plan and organize some of THI's biggest educational events and outreach initiatives. My name is Daisy Hasso, and I'm a student worker at the Center for Women's Heart and Vascular Health at the Texas Heart Institute. I'm a rising sophomore at Tufts University. I'm Jackie Ferrofino. I'm also a student worker at the Center for Women's Heart and Vascular Health at the Texas Heart Institute. I'm a rising junior at Case Western Reserve University. I'm majoring in biochemistry with a focus in medicine because I wanted a career that was problem solving driven and I wanted to design and create projects based on common questions in healthcare, medicine, and things of that nature. I'm studying community health because I want to change the status quo in our current healthcare system and I want to make sure that underserved communities have access to the healthcare they deserve. This is my sixth year working with the Center for Women's Heart and Vascular Health department at the Texas Heart Institute. I started as a volunteer and I've continued my relationship with the Texas Heart Institute because it's a great opportunity to get my foot in the door in medicine and I've had the opportunity to work alongside with and be mentored by some of the best physicians in the largest medical complex in the world. I was not expecting everyone to be so collaborative and friendly. Um, everyone has been treating me very nicely and has welcomed me and I don't feel out of place as an intern. My name is Vedant Modi. I'm going to be a rising senior at Carnegie Vanguard High School. I'm very involved with the theater department there for media, animation, and graphics. And I came here because I wanted to do something similar to that. The most exciting thing I've participated in so far at the Texas Heart Institute has been able to shadow three of our physicians particularly Dr. Costello, where I was able to witness my first procedure, um, a catheterization, and it was amazing. I was able to learn more about cardiology, and it has actually sparked an interest in that field. The most exciting project we've worked on has been Houston HeartReach. My favorite part about going out to the community is when the members tell us that the services we're doing have made an impact on their lives. Um, because they've never been screened before for um, heart-related issues and they get to talk to the doctors and it's a very personal and intimate experience with the women we go out and screen. I heard that there was a very important paper that recently came out of the Texas Heart Institute and you were an integral part of working on the graphic of that. So mm -hmm. tell me about that experience. It was interesting because I didn't necessarily know how a lot of the the biological systems worked in my work in After Effects in theater. I don't necessarily do that same amount of, or same vein of work. So I knew I had to design something, I knew how to do it, but I didn't know how to take that medical research and then transfer it because I needed to make sure that it looked accurate and pleasing to look at in a design sense. So I had to sort of understand like a layman's version of the medical research going into it and then also artistically kind of form that into a message for people to see. My time at Texas Heart Institute has allowed me to develop my um, social and leadership skills. As I've kept returning, I've taken on more responsibilities and helped manage my department and manage the new interns that have come by. The Women's Center. I have been able to collaborate better in group settings. I have been able to work on projects simultaneously with better organization and I definitely think that will help me not only during my undergrad career but post that. 